The Winning Cure is everything college football top 10 after week number 13. It's brought to you by Tunica, Mississippi, the South's premier sports gambling destination. They got six awesome sports books down there. You can find all the information on it over at tunicatravel.com. Show is also brought to you by winningcureseverything.com. Picks, previews, podcasts, all sorts of stuff. Our social media, Facebook and Twitter is over there. Go check that thing out. If you're on YouTube, hit subscribe for us. Help us out. Leave some comments. Tell us what you think we got right, what we got wrong. What is your top ten? Leave it down in the comments. I'd like to see everybody's because the bottom of the top ten could be a little crazy right now. That's right. Uh, let's go on and jump in. Let's do number ten. I'll, I'll let you start us off this week. Who you got at number ten? I still got West Virginia at number ten. Really? I do. I do. We got down to to where you got a bunch of three loss teams, and I think they're better than I like them better than Penn State. I like them better than I don't know a couple other three loss teams you got down there. Okay, that makes sense. Who do you have at ten? I I put Texas. Uh, West See, Virginia I, beat Texas. I like. Yeah, that would say um, I, I'm always going to give the nod to the team that, that beat the other team. I mean, that makes sense. That makes sense. Um, I don't know. I I like. Texas's mindset right now for for whatever reason I feel like they are I mean I, I think they're a live dog this weekend and we'll, we'll we'll worry about that later uh number nine I got Florida at number nine I got Florida at nine as well we may not be that far off on this Ooh. well there's one team I always have higher than you I'm curious if I do or not yeah we'll see okay. we'll see um yeah Florida like they're playing really well they're playing like gangbusters right now so- uh, they should well, at at this ranking, they will be a New Year's Six team, sure. uh, and that will be interesting to see how that fan base is. Like, will will they be fired up for a New Year's Six game or not? Because I mean, there were times that, I mean, when T uh, when Tim Tebow was the uh, the quarterback, and they didn't make it to the national championship game, they couldn't even sell out their allotment of Sugar Bowl tickets. Yeah, that. Uh. I want. I wonder sometimes about those things. I think they'd be excited. That fan base would be excited after what they kind of went through a couple of years with McIlwain. I think. I think a New Year's Six. I mean, if they get a Sugar Bowl bid, I mean, that's a good. That's a good thing, right? Well, I think if if Georgia doesn't make it into the playoff, Georgia's in the Sugar Bowl. Oh, okay, yeah. Well, we agree with that. Okay. But but Florida Peach Bowl, maybe Fiesta Bowl, something yeah. like that. One or the other. Um, okay. Who you got number eight? This might be a little Homer pick. <clears throat> they, you know, I I got LSU there. I think LSU deserved to win that game. They should be a 10-win team right now, not a three-loss team, two-loss team. Um, this is the one area where I didn't give the nod to the team that they beat. Florida beat them head-to-head. The difference is Florida has a loss to Kentucky. LSU's losses were on the road to Florida, Bama, and then this crazy-ass game in A&M. Yeah. That, that they absolutely did not lose. So Okay. Um, I put Michigan there. Okay. Uh, I I Man. feel like this. Right. I feel so like, with that being said, you dropped LSU out of your top ten with the loss, right? Yeah. Okay. That I don't I don't fault you there. Well, I mean, I, I don't think that they were going to fall far. Maybe eleven, twelve. I, uh, I could I, even see them at number ten. I ma- I made a mistake. What keeping them in at number? No, I made a mistake completely. Of uh, what? Not keeping Michigan in? I, for some reason, Michigan's not in my top ten at all. And yeah, that's dude, wrong. That's, that's wrong. But no, it's that's that. I would say that's flat out wrong. Well, they. I will tell they're, you this: they're a two-loss team, and their two losses are to Ohio State, who's, who who's will be in the good. top six, and, and then Notre, Notre Dame, Dame who's, who's the second or third best team in the country. So, yeah. like that's that's just wrong. Um, I'm going to yeah. run through mine. Understand that all the vitriol that will come is is well deserved, and I'm wrong on this. Uh, I don't know that Michigan fans can can complain right now about anywhere that their boys are ranked because. They got demolished. Yeah, but but Michigan beats the hell out of LSU. Like that defense is made to stop LSU's offense. Yeah, LSU no, you're right doesn't about that. score, but three six points, couple field goals. You're right about that. So that's, that's I'm I'm wrong. I get it. I'm, we're moving on. Number seven, I've got UCF. Right, see, I've got Oklahoma. Okay, yeah, I, I see where you're going now. Okay, uh, I've got UCF. I think I would have had UCF higher. Um, but you care about what's going to happen in the future as opposed to what they've done. No, I also see that UCF is like they're terrible against the run, and their offense has not been as good as Oklahoma's. What is Oklahoma against the run? I, I don't know the answer oh, to that. I'm sure it's, it's down but there. I, but I can't, I can't believe that UCF's defensive numbers 
are any worse than Oklahoma's. I am curious. And, and if they I, are, we're talking about the difference between 111 and like 115. Like who? What is that different? 120. What? What's the difference in those two teams? I don't guess it necessarily matters. I mean, that's pretty drastic of the fact that they're – I mean, these are the same teams, Gary. They really are. I mean, these are the same teams. But the I do think one of, one of them is doing it with elite five-star talent everywhere, and the other team is doing it with dudes that didn't get picked by five-star schools. Let's see. Oklahoma is – well, I don't know against the run specifically, but team defense wise, overall defense, they're one eleven. Yeah, well, team defense, they are one eleven. As far as run defense, Oklahoma. Da, 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 well, they might da, be da. decent because do people run the ball at the Big Twelve? I don't guess they do. I mean, they I mean, played Army and they run the ball and they ran it all over their face. Kansas did. I don't see them on here. How am I missing Oklahoma? Number 63 against the Yeah, line. that's just because nobody nobody runs the football against them. Yeah, they give up 4.11 yards per so run. So you're looking at one specific stat. I can't no, 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 I'm looking defense. at overall 162.42. No, you're, overall run defense. I'm looking at You're defense. looking at, at overall total defense. Like, why do you care about if, they, if you can stop the run but you can't stop the pass, does it matter? Your I defense don't think it sucks. Does. Total defense, Oklahoma is 111. What is UCF? UCF is da, 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 77. Holy crap, not even triple digits. UCF is a better football team than Oklahoma. Okay, okay. Like, I, I'm not going to argue with you on that. Bam. Um, Oklahoma's seven for me. Number six, I've got Ohio State. I got Ohio State six. You got UCF like four? I got UCF five. Okay, I'm not okay. crazy. I'm not an idiot. <laughs> I got them over Ohio State and Oklahoma, and I've had them over those two teams the entire season because I think they are the exact same, but they don't have a loss. Okay, that makes I sense. I think they all play no defense, and they all can score on anybody. I got Oklahoma five because I think that they their offense is better than UCF's. and It just, it just has not been all season at all. Not even close. Numbers um, don't support that. The numbers don't support that? I would venture to say the numbers don't support that. Now, I do want to see that because Oklahoma's got the number one offense in the country. Well, I would venture to say what did it look like if you take out the last game because UCF blows a quarterback, it's knee out, and Oklahoma has the greatest game they've ever had in the history of football. Well, I don't know about all that. So, if we – like you Total, you know, total you know, offense. the greatest offensive game they've ever had? No, because they only put up like 660 yards. They put up 60-some-odd points against the number one defense in football. They averaged 583 yards a game. Uh, number two is Ohio State. Number three is Clemson. Number five is UCF. Okay. Number four is Alabama. And then not too far behind them, number six is Memphis. Yeah. And so, um, let's see, where was I? Number four through one. Were oh, yeah, I had Oklahoma same. five. Uh, number four, I've, we got Georgia. Yeah. All right, so we agree on Georgia. Um, number three is Notre Dame I'm, I'm for done, me. I'm done fighting this fight. So, it, it, But you got Notre Dame, too. Well, I'd like Notre Dame, too, yes. Yeah. So, that's dude, this is – we got our own. I'm, I'm, I'm done fighting this fight because I understand that people they, – they literally just don't pay attention to anything. I got Clemson, too. I know. Number one, we both got Alabama. Yeah, but Alabama's one. Okay. Um, the argument that what well, doesn't matter where they're ranked one or, or two or three because they're going to play each other is if it doesn't matter where they're ranked, then why the hell are we ranking them? Like, this is the stuff that bothers me when people— well, No, no, it just doesn't matter if it's two or three. I, like, I if it, Notre Dame but, gets dropped to four, why then, are, then— Then why are we doing it if it doesn't matter where they are at? Why do we rank anybody under this if, it, if only four get in? Well, because doesn't... then you have to worry about, like, at Notre Dame, their, their place is set. They but, are but good. Do, you you do understand the if reason Clemson I goes have out and loses to Pittsburgh, then then they get jumped. So Notre Dame's two. But if, they were, if Notre Dame was two already and Alabama loses, then Notre Dame bounces to one. That's why it matters. It, if it doesn't matter, then why are we doing it? It has to matter. And we have to do it right if, it's going to, if we're going to do it. 
I am curious what the playoff committee is. I just, do. I just know we know exactly what they're going to do. If Bama wins, it's going to be that no, Notre Dame is staying three. They're not moving from three. And if Clemson wins, the only way they're moving up is if is if Bama loses. If everything everything holds, it holds. I just don't understand. What if what if Clemson has to beat Pitt on like a last second field goal? I don't think they should be two now anyway. Name their biggest win of the season. Oh, it's what maybe. A and M or Syracuse? because Notre Dame has several bigger wins than they're gonna. Not just one. It's not just Michigan Week One. They have multiple big wins on the season because they didn't beat them by fifty. Okay, so you beat high school teams by fifty, and they beat good teams by seven. They still win the damn games, and they played good teams. They played the hardest schedule outside of LSU anybody played this year. Yeah, I mean that that, well. that has to matter. That has to matter. Yeah. Why schedule tough? And then people say, well, well, the 13th data point. And, uh, uh, that's what's that's his name? for Dan, nerds. Dan, Dan, I ain't no, even no. about but that. But Dan, Dan Wetzel makes an unbelievable argument. Well, well, then technically, Clemson doesn't have a 13th data point either because one of the games that they play every year is a is a FCS, FCS game. Yeah. And so that doesn't count as a data point. So if, if, if Notre Dame played – you know, Fulman, Fulman this year, this week, okay, now they've got the same record and everything's the exact same. Well, you played Pitt? Well, they played USC last week. UCF. Well, oh, USC last week. Well, USC and Pitt probably pretty close to each other. Yeah, pretty similar. Congratulations. We call one a championship game. Hmm. I, I, I know that I do this every week, and I know that it gets old and it gets tired. I just don't understand why – the argument bothers me is, is well, it, it doesn't matter because two and three are the exact same. If it doesn't matter, then why are we doing it? And and two or three are not the same because if Pamela loses, one of them goes to one and the other one stays at, or it just goes to two, which still has to play the next team. I heard an interesting, I mean, that, that, that matters. I heard an interesting thing, by the way, that, if Alabama were to lose, based on what we have now, they would remain in the playoff, and they probably wouldn't even be. They would the be the four seed. They would be the three seed. They would be the three, and no Georgia doubt. would like be at four, which is no crazy. Georgia, Georgia should probably yeah. But but yeah. would you what if you Clemson would move wins. Notre Dame down to four, and then put Clemson at one? I mean, I think I, I don't. Or know. I mean, it, see, it's it's crazy to think about like. That's the only kind of chaos we would have if Georgia beats Bama. This is this is why the seeding matters. If we're not, if if you say it doesn't matter, then stop telling me you don't agree with where I put them because it it doesn't matter. And I think it does matter, which is why I get mad that people put it wrong. Okay. No, I mean I I can see where you're coming from. Like I I I think that Notre Dame's resume wins wise is. Much better than Clemson's as and, far and as the, big wins, and the, and the resumes loss wise is the best in the country because they're the same as Alabama and Clemson. They don't have one. But the other side, of, like Clemson, has more wins over teams with winning records than Notre Dame does. But those teams all beat up on bad teams, which is why they have winning records. Exactly. So it's it's like, all right, why are we? I don't know. Um. Yeah, you know what? Let's go to the playoffs. Okay. All right. We're moving to our playoffs uh, uh, picks. This was the Winning Cures Everything College Football Top 10 after week number 13. Go to tunicaltravel.com. Go to winningcureseverything.com. Download the podcast and hit subscribe on YouTube. Check out the next one.